It took until the 18th pick for Jaime Jaquez Jr.'s name to get called by the Miami Heat at the 2023 NBA Draft. The UCLA standout won the 2022-2023 Pac-12 Player of the Year honors as a senior, and scouts pointed to his defensive prowess and rebounding as ways that he would have an impact as a rookie, all that despite being taken later in the draft. Anything else would have just been gravy, because let's face it, history shows rookies picked this late in the draft don't usually make much of an impact, at least right away. But Jaquez, a.k.a. Juan Wick, has certainly outplayed those expectations and has quickly become a fan favorite in South Beach. Now, he's carving out a role as a major piece on this Miami Heat team. Welcome, everybody. My name is Troy, and this is the Half Court Report. Be sure you click that thumbs up button and subscribe for some of the best NBA content that you're going to find on YouTube. Jaquez is outplaying his draft position in a big, big way. As of this video recording, he's averaging 12 points per game, 3.9 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and shooting over 50% from the field and nearly 40% from three. Jaquez is one of only seven rookies averaging double figures in points, and he's looking like a player who should have been a top 10 pick. Even advanced stats show that Jaquez is one of the top rookies this season. The Heat's top two lineups by offensive rating with a minimum of 10 minutes played together include Jaquez. And with his positional versatility, he is able to fit into nearly any lineup. That's huge in today's NBA. What makes this so impressive in Jaquez's case is that he wasn't really drafted to be a scorer, yet he's shown enough on the ball to score respectably 21.4 points per 100 possessions on almost 60% true shooting. Combined with his tough, handsy defense, Jaquez has been great value at the 18th pick for a team that sorely needed to find another contributor in the draft. That was from John Hollinger in a recent article in The Athletic about Jaquez. He went on to say even Jaquez's alleged weaknesses have been strengths. He wasn't regarded as a shooter coming out of college, but he's made nearly 40% from three and over 80% from the line. Additionally, he has great footwork on the block and in the basket area and is able to score effectively from floater range. That's one of the toughest skills to pick up at the NBA level. That also leverages his passing ability when he gets a mismatch. Jaquez also excels as a secondary playmaker because of his ability to read the game and create plays for others. He's averaging over four and a half assists per 100 possessions this year and is posting a low turnover rate for a rookie. If there's a question about Jaquez, it's how much he can scale up offensively from here. He's still in a relatively low usage role and doesn't have the burst to generate shots easily. Instead, he's leaning heavily on strength and craft to get to his spots. Nonetheless, the 6'6 wing doesn't need to go crazy on offense to have value because he has held up so well on that defensive end. He's tough, he's strong, and with a 2% steal rate, he has good feet. He gets those thefts without veering outside of Miami's defensive scheme. So overall, Jaquez is offering tremendous value compared to where he was picked, and there's got to be several teams that picked ahead of the Heat just kicking themselves right now. Jaquez was picked behind guys like Jet Howard, Grady Dick, Kobe Bufkin, Jalen Hood Shafino, and Jaquez is light years ahead of those guys. I think the teams who picked those players may be having some regrets. He reminds me a lot of former Heat player Shane Battier, another guy who stayed four years in college, not the most athletic guy, but good shooter, good defender, knows his role, knows how to play well on offense or on defense, and serves as a real glue guy to make the all-star players around him more successful. Remember, Jaquez was a four-year player at UCLA and as a senior averaged nearly 18 points, eight rebounds, and two and a half assists per game. And like Battier, while he entered the NBA older than many players in his draft class, his experience and maturity have allowed him to make an immediate impact. With Miami losing those rotation pieces like Gabe Vincent and Max Struess this past offseason, Jaquez immediately stepped into a key role. 
and the dude has just hit the ground running. He's earned rave reviews from teammates and NBA observers alike in his brief professional career. Jimmy Butler, his teammate on the Heat, spoke highly of Jaquez after a recent victory against the Indiana Pacers when Jaquez came off the bench to contribute 24 points and 5 rebounds. Additionally, ESPN analyst and former NBA player J.J. Redick said that Jaquez has been the best rookie in the league outside of Victor Wimbanyama of the Spurs and Chet Holmgren of the Thunder. I am loving Jaquez's game, and I'm eager to see what the rest of the season holds. Let me hear from the Jaime Jaquez fans in the comments. How excited are y'all for what he's doing for this Heat team? And since you've watched this far, be sure you leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and click that subscribe button too so you never miss another Miami Heat or NBA video. Make sure you check out my pinned comment as well. And since we're talking about the NBA draft and players making an impact, back to Chet Holmgren for a second. You know, he was drafted in 2022, but due to injury, the former number two overall pick is also classified as a rookie this year. And Guys, Chet has been looking nice. I can't get over what this guy is able to do on the floor. I had to do a whole video on him and how his game is getting him all-star buzz in his first year playing in the NBA. You got to check that out. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you next time on the Half Court Report. Have a great day.